Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Kevin and Mikkel. We are back with another video. I know y'all probably thought that was well, the weekend they're not going to do a video, but bam, here we are. Um, if you're a first time watching to the Scorpion Show, please make sure you click the subscribe button. You can either click the subscribe button right below this video, or if you're watching at the desktop, you can click on the, our logo on the bottom right side and subscribe to our show. And shout out to all the new people that subscribe to our show and to everyone who watched the BET Awards video. If you missed that video, you missed one of my favorite videos I've ever recorded here on YouTube. And I'm glad that everyone loved the video and a lot of people was tweeting us and stuff like that. So I'm glad you enjoyed that video. If you missed it, check it out. Also, if you missed the 10 questions video from last week, Go ahead and watch that video because we're going to bring it back next week and we're not going to have any music on the video because I don't want nobody to say, oh, it was too loud and I had put it real low. So we're going to do it again next week. And I'm glad that y'all like the series. Um, so let's get into this video because Mikel got to go to work. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, the other job. Yes. So let's talk about Donald Trump. Now, we haven't talked about this man in a long time. And, you know, I'm glad to not talk about him because I was tired of talking about politics all the time. But this morning, Donald Trump was upset with uh, Mika Brzezinski and Joe Scarborough, who hosts the show Morning Joe, that comes on MSNBC from 6 to 10. One of my favorite shows in the morning because they be having all different kind of uh, round tables and, and different people on the show and stuff like that. But this morning, they happened to be talking about how Rex Tillerson is the Secretary of State. And he is not allowed to hire the people who he wants to hire because Donald Trump won't let him hire the people that he wants to hire. And that he really wants his uh, son-in-law, Jared Kushner, to be the, like the deputy, deputy secretary of state. And he really wants his son-in-law to be going to different countries and making deals and stuff like that. And Joe and Mika was just talking about how terrible that was. And as a president, like you just hiring people with no experience to do stuff. Well, I mean, hello. Yeah. He and was I, hired with no experience. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. And I mean, they were going in, they were going in on that and the fact that he had the fake Time magazine all over his different mar -a -Lago's. I meant mar -a -Lago and then his other estates that he owns, um, golf properties. So Donald Trump woke up, I mean, Donald Trump, he be watching the morning shows, he be flipping, he don't just watch Fox and Friends. He had to uh, tweet them. Can you read the tweet? Yes. So he tweeted, uh, I heard poorly rated Morning Joe speaks badly of me. Don't watch anymore. Then how come low IQ crazy Mika along with Psycho Joe came to Mar-a-Lago three nights in a row around New Year's Eve and insisted on joining me? She was bleeding badly from a facelift. I said no. So a lot of people were up in arms about Donald Trump's tweet. He is the president of the United States. He's going to be archiving his tweets as the president. Why are you tweeting things like this? A lot of yeah. Why are you tweeting things like that on Twitter? And why are you always talking about a woman's appearance? Now, y'all saying, well, why? If they go in on Donald Trump, why would they be at his Mar-a-Lago estate? Well, Joe Scarborough is a Republican, and Mika is a Democrat, and Joe and Mika are actually engaged now. Um, I don't know how long they've been engaged. Engaged to do what? They're engaged to be married. You didn't know that? I don't watch them. Yeah, they are engaged to be married, but they don't talk about it. But like I just that. feel like that is a conflict of interest. They've all been a conflict of interest. <laughs> I mean, they're sitting right next to each other every morning. Yes. And they got like a love-hate relationship, but somehow it works, I guess. And he, oh. He left his wife, she left her husband, and... And her father just passed, too. Yeah. And a lot of people were upset. And Donald Trump, because he's always talking about the appearance of a woman, he's always just going in on what they look like, if they had plastic surgery, and stuff like that. And a couple of days ago, they were talking about how he stopped his phone conference to tell a, a, a reporter how beautiful she looked. And people were over that. But I mean, it's Donald Trump. This is what they yeah. elected. <laughs> yeah. And Donald Trump, man, this is our president. And no, it's this horrible. Is, this is the country. Trying well, this is, I can't even claim him. Yeah. We can't claim him, but <laughs> it is what it is. It is. It, it, he's just, he, just look, he just makes us look bad. I would hate to go to another country and they say, where are you from? And I say America. And just to look and stare that they would give you. Or the comment, how they try to have that conversation about you about the president of your country. It, it would just be ridiculous. And a lot of Republicans, except for Paul Ryan, um, condemned Donald Trump for his tweets. Even Melania Trump 
defend her husband. <laughs> and today, well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, of course she's going to defend her. Yeah, and today I was watching the uh, press conference. And I don't know, I think that what you call um, Spicer about to lose his job to Sarah Huckabee Sanders. And all she kept saying was he was fighting fire with fire. If you say, if you attack him, he's going to press back. He didn't attack Donald Trump's appearance. He is attacking Donald Trump. They attacked him for his job. Now, how do you go about somebody's looks and the IQ? Let's talk about your IQ. Let's talk about your mental state. Let's talk about that, Donald Trump. Clearly, you are not yeah. physically able to do your job as president you're not there's nothing presidential about you you just hold the title of being the president and i mean it shouldn't shock us that this stuff is going on but he just makes us look bad as a country and me can make himself yeah bad. but as a country though no we don't look God. bad he looks bad yeah <laughs> as a country we need to be banded together to figure it's, out it's, it's, how we're gonna get him out of there in 2020 yeah but I, I still love my morning Joe. I'm waiting for them to respond. And Mika did tweet back with a uh, box of Cheerios saying these are for small hands. So, you know, she was talking about the president's hands. But I'm waiting tomorrow morning to see what Joe and Mika are going to say. And they both better be there tomorrow morning because sometimes they like to take things off. Friday, y'all better be there because I want to watch to see your response. So, moving on, uh, Venus Williams was involved in a car accident a couple weeks ago. And it led to the death of a 78-year-old man. And today we are finding out that the man passed away from his injuries. Um, and now they're saying that allegedly Venus Williams is at fault for the death of this driver. And what happened was um, Venus Williams was going to make a turn. And her car got stuck in the lane where, you know, when you're turning, when you're making, I don't know if she was making a left turn. Or a right turn, but they were saying it was Ill, it was illegal to block wherever she was, mm -hmm. and the car t-boned her car. So the driver, who was the man's wife, she was injured, and he died of his injuries. And uh, the cops were saying that Venus Williams, she didn't have any uh, alcohol. no alcohol, no mm -hmm. phone, or you know any of that was at play. It was, it was just, just a, a it's just a bad accident. So our condolences to the family and to. Venus Williams, and you know, I don't know how she's going to take this, like, because I know how people treated Brandy for what happened, and I would just hate to see that happen to Venus Williams. Uh, stuff, accidents happen. Accidents happen, and we need to be more careful when we're driving. I will say that. So I'm not trying to say, like, you know, Venus is not at fault, but we, I'm not a driver, but when you drive, you have to be very careful of the road. So leave the Twitters and Instagrams. Leave that for when you're out of the car or when your car is parked. Not even at a red light should you be on your phone. You need to be paying attention to the road. I don't know exactly what happened, but I just wanted to bring that story to y'all. And I hope that none of our watchers be going around tweeting negative stuff to her about what happened. Uh, Mala Anthony. So Wendy Williams, she had... She had some guests on. I didn't watch Diddy today. But she had two great guests on this week. Two great interviews. One she had with Lala Anthony. Uh, and she happened to, you know, they were talking about power and stuff like that. I watched power. Did you watch power yet? No, I, I oh. haven't seen it. I haven't, but go ahead. It I, was haven't, a, I haven't, because you know my schedule is now backwards. Yes. So, so you, everything is backwards now for me. And when power comes on, I'm at work. Yeah. And then when I come home from work, I'm in yeah, you're in bed. So you gotta probably catch it like that Sunday, cause sometimes you know they show it, they put it on demand early. Yeah, I know. So you gotta catch it there. But it was good. It was good. And Charlie Murphy, oh my God, like you could really Before see he that he was sick. Yeah. yeah, you could see Before that time. something was going on. But Power was good. And you know she was talking about her time being on Power and stuff like that. And then Wendy Williams wanted to talk about uh, the status of Lala and Carmelo's marriage, and. She said she's not ready to divorce him yet, and she wants to. She wants her and her husband to be an example to their son. I don't know what example it is, or you know. She said marriage has ups and downs. Carmelo is her best friend, and you know why wouldn't he want her back and stuff like that? So I don't know what's going on. Do she really want to divorce him? Because she said yet. Yeah. So are y'all going to be like 
I don't I don't know. I don't know. And this I, I loved her answer. She had like a her, first of all, it was just a class act because yeah. you know, I think because it's the Wendy Williams show, you're waiting for her to bash him, but mm -hmm. she just simply was like, you know, he's the best father I could ask for for our son. Like you said, he's my best friend and to me I feel like if they were to make it work, I'd be like Oh, yo, How could you be mad? Right. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I've loved Lala since her MTV days when she was a VJ on uh, TRL. That's always been my girl. So it's just like, you know, you can't. She, she, you've never heard like negative stuff about, about her. her. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Even with the two of them, period. It's just like you know. So it's like that's one relationship that you like. I hope they do work that out. Mm -hmm. You know, and. Cheating is a serious thing. Yes. <laughs> so Especially I hope that she gets his ass And I hope that she would. Yeah, yeah, well. I mean, she did get him young. Yeah. She got him real 19, young. He was 19. Fresh out of high school when they started dating. Yes. So, you know, he didn't really have his time to. So was it. Play play. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> but she ain't doing that in the area. Yeah, he shouldn't be. But this is another thing why these women should realize that these guys, especially when they get into the league, whatever league they get into, and you pick them up very young, you got to understand that you you with somebody who's 19, 20, and y'all start dating and get serious and get married, these guys is making all this money and they got all these girls throwing it at them, they won't want to dip in that. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you know, so you got to think about that. Like, do you really want to start a serious relationship with this man just yet? He's only 19, 20. Like, let him grow. Let him have his fun first. And then, you know, y'all meet back up in a few years or whatever the case may be. I don't know. But yeah. I just hope that they, you know, whatever the situation is, it's worked out. Yeah. However it turns out. But, you know, shout out to Lala. Yeah, yeah she, she was a class act. Yeah. And, and I really appreciate that from her. And uh, Lamar Odom was on Woody Williams uh, yesterday. And that made me cry. It didn't make me cry. Me but I, I seen that Wendy Williams wanted to cry. And Wendy Williams... She wasn't the Wendy Williams that she normally is because, you know, Wendy Williams is a former addict, drug addict, and mm -hmm. she will let you know in a minute. Mm -hmm. So when, uh, I'm about to say Carmelo, when, what's his name? Lamar. Lamar, when he was talking about how he wasn't on the drugs mm -hmm. when he was at that ranch, Wendy was like looking at him like, are you serious? She's like, are you serious? <laughs> are you fuck? not like, are you effing serious, but... She just knew he was lying, but she didn't call him she out on it. She just said, well, the toxicology reports were saying that you were. And he was just saying, like, no, it was just God message for me. And I wasn't drinking. He was just saying that he just denied those things. And then he talked about the friendship that he had with Robert Kardashian. Um, you know, Robert Kardashian? Well, Robert Kardashian. Oh, I was going to say, Robert Kardashian yeah. is dead. Yeah, he's dead. And he's but, been dead. But you know I don't watch them like that. So, uh... <laughs> well, I mean, his name is Robert, too, so... I was just on that thing that I had yeah. that. And he was just saying how he missed that friendship and you know, once he stopped dealing, dealing with dealing the, sister. the sister, their relationship ended and he misses that and it hurts him that they aren't friends anymore. Um, he talked about some other things. He talked about his father. He just talked about how he's trying to get his life back on track. But the way he was talking, he's still unsure of what he wants to do with I guess with coaching or being a part of a basketball team in that kind of way. Mm -hmm. He seems unsure about that, but he knows that he wants to be clean and he wants to become a better person. Like, he was very soft-spoken. He he was just being Lamar on the show, but he's still not ready to take accountability for the things that he right. has done in the past. And that is something that Wendy normally calls people out on. I didn't watch her show today, so I don't know like what her follow-up was to that. But she really wants the best for Lamar, and she doesn't want to see him, you know, go mm -hmm. back to what, what what he was doing. And 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 a lot of times people are not successful. Oh my God! A lot of people are not successful when they have, you know, when they're trying to get therapy and rehab for being on drugs. A lot of them relapse. So Wendy could understand that thing, and she just was. She broke down crying. She gave him a gift of a basketball with different uh, words on it. And she, she broke down crying. She gave him a hug and literally they cut to commercial, but you can see her talking to him as the, you know, they fade to black to go to commercial. But I really haven't heard any like anything bad about uh, Lamar as in now. He's really trying to get his life together and I hope that he succeeds in that. He also talked about 
being a man, um, being a man married to a Kardashian, because women were saying like how the men always seem to be crazy or something that's just not right. And she's like, well, you know what's going on? He's like, well, men and women are different. And that that was that's what he his response to Wendy's question about why do the men all seem like something is going on and the women seem fine? I don't know what the Kardashians are doing. He didn't bash them. He didn't talk bad about Chloe. He did say that he was hurt when Chloe lied about being pregnant or um, trying to get pregnant. He was upset about that, but he said, well... So what, she wasn't trying to get pregnant? Um, no. And he said that at that time, it was the best thing. Even though he was upset, it was the best thing because he was really out of it. He was saying how Chloe was the only one that knew that he was doing what he was doing. I'm not sure if she never told her sisters that, but yeah, it was a really good interview. If y'all missed those interviews, y'all definitely gotta check them out. I would say watch them because they were good. And you know, yeah, it, it was just, it was good. I'm, I'm happy for both of them. I'm, I'm hope, I hope that Lala and Carmelo can work it out. If they can't, they're just going to have to find the best way to tell, their, tell it to their son. And with Lamar, I just don't want to see nobody on drugs. And right now we see that on TV, there's this big opioid abuse um, thing going on with a lot of people dying from synthetic, what's the word? I mean, do you know that word I'm thinking of? Synthetic fentanyl, where it's like, they say it's like a thousand times the rate of cocaine. Mm. And it's it just make people black out and no matter how many times you try to use the Narcan to revive the people, it kills them. And it's a very, it's just very high, high death rates. People are dying at a faster rate than what it was, you know, from years ago, like in the 90s and stuff like that. And it's become, we, I'm seeing it more on television about it. So I just hope that Lamar gets it together. We, our country really has to get it together. That's all what I'm saying. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Because you said a whole lot. I know. I know. And I was trying to get it. I was um, what I was going to say was with the whole situation with Wendy, I was happy that she didn't go in on him like she usually does people. Because I think that it's still kind of early with him. And I think that she saw something to him like he he's at a vulnerable state right now. And I'm kind of happy that she took the route that she did and she played it real safe with him. And she, you know. To me, I kind of felt like a, like I was watching a mom, not his mom, but a mom, you know, just letting a son know that, you know, everything's going to be all right and I have your back. And I really appreciate it. And that's why I got a little emotional because I just was like, that was the first time I really felt like, really like, oh my God, like this is a genuine moment. And I really felt for them. So I just hope that, you know, everything does turn out for him, you know, and it's good that she... She 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 didn't she didn't badger him, you know, to get in for you know, she just let it, you know, and I just you know, it's 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 always a sad thing because he was like on his deathbed at one point. Mm -hmm. He was. Yeah, and it's 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 sad, but it's good that I I, I when you said about the whole Rob Kardashian thing, that, that hurts me too because I feel like, you know, it's when when relationships end, especially when people are close to the the family, the other mm -hmm. family, it's always sad when relationships end because a lot of times that friendship with the family it's, ends it's too. Like, and, yeah. it's, and it's sad because, you know, he, I guess him and Rob genuinely had a really good friendship and for that to be over. But I guess Rob is one of those people that listen, you know, you ain't messing with my sister no more, so I ain't got no ties with you no more. That could be Rob's whole thing, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. But hopefully they can, they can work it out. Yeah. If he sees that... I hope it touches him and right. makes him want to reach out to right. um, Lamar. Because they didn't they have like a show at one point, or they was they were living show? together or something like that. But it was crazy. I remember. I remember. It was real, real weird. Yeah. It was a weird situation with them. Yeah. Um, and speaking of the Kardashians, a lot of people are going in on the Kardashians today. Kylie and Kylie, I believe it's Kylie and Kendall. They have a a, a T-shirt line that they're selling. And the picture that I seen was, it was a picture of, I don't know which one it was, but it was one of the Jenner girls. It's a uh, Kendall. Between a picture of well, Tupac this is, and Biggie. Well, I'm looking, yeah, this is Kendall right here. Yeah, this is Kendall. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, I don't see any pictures of Kylie, I just see Kendall. Or maybe it's just Kendall. But they have a t-shirt store. 
Yes. And they're selling and they're selling shirts online. And I heard it was twenty one hundred twenty five dollars shirt. I hope that's not true. Lost. You can buy Lost. something like this at a fucking stand. Old Navy twenty dollars. You can go to Old Navy and get they um they sell Biggie shirts for um eighteen dollars. You can get a Biggie shirt. Well, Vi Viola Vi Violetta Wallace Biggie's mom. She got a win of what was going on. And can you read her statement? Well, her statement to the sisters reads as this. I am not sure who told Kylie Jenner and Kendall Jenner that they had the right to do this. The disrespect of these girls to not even reach out to me or anyone connected to the estate baffles me. I have no idea why they feel they can exploit the deaths of Tupac and my son Christopher to sell a t-shirt. This is disrespectful, disgusting, and exploitation at its worst. I will be in contact with their lawyers and my lawyers, and this will not rest until I see justice. I know that's right. I mean that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sounded just like what she was saying. I mean, yeah. I mean, listen. Y'all shouldn't be selling shirts no, online without um, having the consent of anybody's estate or mm -hmm. the permission of that person whose likeness that you're using yeah. because we see it online all, all the, time. the time people be like oh no legends were born in november and i seen that on a jay-z and jay-z is born in december right. so people be doing all kinds of using madea's picture or they'll use a beyonce stuff like people just be going in and legends were born in shirt. december yeah and, and in november because <laughs> jay-z and i were born days apart Yes. Sagittarius. We did. Yeah. It's legends. And shout out to Dion Warwick. Because you and her share the same birthday. The same birthday. The same yes. Do you know? <laughs> Dion Warwick and I, Frank Sinatra and I, Bob Barker and I. Um, oh, wow. Yeah. You met some legends. Okay. All right. Hey, okay, December 12th. TV and music. Okay. Oh, you better fucking ass. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I wasn't put on this earth for nothing. Yeah, so, but wait, can you go to that Suge Knight tweet? How was Suge yes. Knight tweeting for I don't know. Well, they ain't verified, that's for sure. So it may not be him. I don't know. Well, anyway, Suge Knight also has something to say, too. He tweeted, or he posted on Instagram, I didn't believe it when I first saw it, but I have to agree with Violetta Wallace. It's bad business and highly disrespectful. These are the same people who wear braids and call it a new style, but then call a black girl with the same style ratchet. Now, I'll have to stop Suge right there, because I ain't never heard them say call a black girl ratchet. I think that we're kind of associating other whites or white people or whatever the case may be and trying to connect these girls with them. Mm -hmm. But I've never heard anybody from from the Kardashian camp or the Jenna camp call a black girl ratchet from wearing braids. So I'm gonna just put that out there, okay? So maybe, you know, Suge should have said something else because I've never heard them say that. As a matter of fact, we all know them to love black dick. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I mean hello. So yeah. But anyway a uh, girl with the ratchet. Who, who also needs to be checked is, oh, he said, who also needs to be checked is Tyler for stealing the Death Row logo and putting it on his last King's clothing line. There's your warning. And I didn't make that. Uh -oh. He said that. Okay. See, he said that. Nobody one. should. No, let me not ask him what he's going to do. Yeah, don't <laughs> ask him that because I still need my check at the end of this month. And I don't know what. What is Shug going to do? Shug Avery. I mean, hey, hey. Night. yeah. <laughs> Sister. So, yes. Okay. So they need to stop. Uh, they need to but, stop. Did, yeah, but Tupac and Biggie aren't the only ones. They use Ozzy Osbourne too, and Sharon Osbourne had something to say about that. <laughs> yeah. She posted, "Girls, you haven't earned the right to put your face with musical icons. Stick to what you know. Lip gloss." Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> How I mean, can y'all just say somebody? Everybody went in. Okay. Jay-Z then tweeted, Kylie and Kendall, you have no right to do this. If I see the twins on a t-shirt with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like, you know they're going to be looking for play dates. The, uh, Kim and them. And since Jay-Z and them is out there in L.A. Oh, Lord. Can you imagine? The press is going to be at that house. So, let's move on to... A YouTuber, let me tell y'all something. There's a lot of ways to get fame on YouTube. And this person, was I don't even know. You know. It was bad what she did. Because you know how people be doing like pranks or trying to do tricks. Well, this girl, she had, they say one of the most powerful guns that you could ever use, was trying to shoot through a book. I guess the bullet was supposed to bounce off the book, but she wanted to do it to get views on YouTube so she could get what, like, what? 
I'm quick. She shot at a book to do what? You know how you? No, I know you don't. No, unless I don't mess with guns. You, me neither. You know how you see people hold stuff up, right? Yeah. Or you've seen dumb. Yes. Pranks where people it's get like shot with a bulletproof vest. Or somebody will punch through something while somebody's holding it up. Or yes. Something. Yes. So she decided to take a gun. Mm. A and real say, gun. Yes. And say, oh, this is this bullet. I ain't watched the video. We never seen the video. They're not going to release the video. But I guess she was going to shoot through the book or shoot the book and the bullet is going to ricochet off. But she wanted to do it so people can watch the video to get views. She wanted to do outrageous things for views. Come on, Kat. She shot. Ridiculous. She shot through the, the book went the bullet went through the book and killed her husband and the father of her child and she's pregnant with another child. She's nineteen years old and she is now in jail for nineteen this time at nineteen years old. This is it's ridiculous and I know she feels horrible and I know she didn't mean to kill her husband. Or at least I think she didn't mean to kill her husband. But People are doing too much stuff for fame. And if you wanted to go that route for fame, I'm not going to even suggest that. Mm -hmm. But some people be like, some people make a sex tape and stuff like that for fame. But the, if you really want fame, all you got to do is just be your authentic self. And right. hopefully it catches on through people. And people will watch your videos and things like that. But doing st stunts like that, you shouldn't be doing that. And... Now we see the end result of what Someone can happen when you do something like right. that. And a lot of people be doing pranks where they be dressing up as Muslims and throwing stuff at people like it's a bomb and run away. Yeah, I, yeah, that, now that like right there. You can end up getting no, shot right, and killed and doing kill. stuff like that too. Yeah, you don't do stuff like that because it's, it's, that right there is wrong on so many levels. You know, you're feeding into the stereotypes that all Muslims are bad people and that they're terrorists. That right there, I don't agree with, I don't condone, because I have family members who are Muslims. I have very close friends who are Muslims, and I don't condone that at all. I wouldn't even play like that. Two, in the, in the age of what we call post 9-11, or some of us still call it the 9-11 age, that's not something that's funny, pretending that somebody has a bomb and throwing it somewhere. You know, especially every time you turn on the TV, every other month, somebody's being, a bomb is being set off in an airport. And somebody's running over somebody in London somewhere. Like, you don't play, like, with stuff like that. And I can only imagine, I'm not going to go there, because I don't want people to go in on me. But I can only imagine. Don't say it, I, You know what I'm about to say. Just don't. Not today. I, I don't need nobody to be mad at us. We went a whole month with people being mad. Gotta but I can only imagine it's them doing that. Yeah. Cause some of us have a little bit more common sense than yeah. to do something like oh, that. Oh yeah, and I mean they. I, the, one video I seen somebody was walking on crutches and they threw a book bag. Like why would you do? That? Why would you do that? And then one one lady was walking on her baby and they acting like they were shooting at her. Like it was just. Oh. And then they get mad when you say when you do something about it. Mm -hmm. It was it was it's just bad to see stuff like that. Just be your authentic self or try to do something different, like do different videos, different vlogs, talk about different things like that. Don't do that for fame. Ugh, fame will kill you. And, and we've seen what happened when you try to shoot for fame. Every fame is not really for everybody. Let's just put it like that. Jay-Z uh, meant well when he said that. Yeah. You yeah. want the lights? Are you sure? Are you sure? Okay. Hollywood. So that is all our notes for this weekend. Um, before we go, I want to give a shout out to Rocks from Forest Rocks on YouTube. She did a haiku on why I'm fly. And I just want to say thank you. Um, if you are not subscribed to her YouTube channel, please head over to youtube.com forward slash Forest Rocks. She does reviews on Love and Hip Hop, The Real Housewives of Atlanta, and Potomac franchises. She talks about all the reality shows, basically. And Rox is my girl, and shout out to her son Joe, because I know he just graduated high school, and he's off to college, and Rox is off to go on vacation real soon. That's my girl. I need a vacation, Rox. Yes, I, I need, need a need damn vacation. vacation. Okay. okay. And I'm starving like Marvin right now. Yeah, you got to hurry up. So my stomach is touching, touching the back of my ankles. <laughs> so, so shout out to Rox, and shout out to Ashley Miller, because she be uh, commenting in the, um, in the videos, so shout out to you. And people was, was asking me about the Petty T-shirt that I was wearing. 
It's from Messy Miles um, What's Tea Clothing. I'm going to find the link and then I'll put it in the more info box so you can all have your own petty t-shirt. And it came in like two, three days. So it's no it's no long wait. Once you order, it comes to you. So um And yeah. we have t-shirts that are coming yeah. really soon. Yeah, we we're working new, on some new, new shirts. shirts. Have the new, new shirts. New yeah. shirts, okay? All of old shirts are gonna be gone. Okay. <laughs> what the Bible say? <laughs> the thing of the past, you gotta stay in the fucking past. No, they don't really <laughs> say it like that. But yes, <laughs> not stay in the past. <laughs> So you you guys enjoy the first um, July Saturday is the first of July so you guys enjoy the weekend. Um, Tuesday is the fourth of July. I don't, I don't, you guys are not you going on a family trip or something like that? Mm -hmm. So we'll probably see y'all next Thursday or something like that. Yes. Yeah, we'll see y'all next week. And y'all be good though. Y'all be good. If something happens, I'll be back. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the thoughts of peace. I'm not doing the thumbs up. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs>